Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Ursina video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the at a bit of the terrain generation. So first let's see what we've got done in the last video. So in the last video we got our texturing done. We got that grass texture over here. We got a as far as I can remember a 10 by 10 platform over here that the player can walk on that is expandable in this variable over here. So a 20 there we go, we have a platform over here. So, uh, in today's video, we're going to make this platform look a bit more interesting. So right now, we just have a flat platform with no mountains, uh, something going up and down. And yeah, just this boring terrain. So, uh, today we're going to use a module called Perla Noise to solve this. So first of all, I want to go to the command prompt and type pip install Berlin. Uh, you really can't remember it. Maybe Berlin underscore noise or Berlin noise. Probably Berlin underscore noise. So just type that into your command prompt, and uh, I'm I'm not gonna do that because I already installed it. And now we need to import this module. So from Berlin underscore noise import and just like the last time in the second uh, the statement you say Perlin noise in the capsules and at the first one it just includes the underscore over here. <clears throat> so now that we have Perlin noise important, uh, sorry, import imported, uh, let's actually start talking about how you can use Perlin noise. Now, when it comes to terrain generation, I'm pretty sure if you're playing Minecraft, you know what I mean. So, speaking about terrain generation, uh, it probably needs a bit of math calculations, or yeah, it's all it's, it's all calculations based on the noise. And when we say Perlin noise, we don't mean the noise that we hear. We mean a sort of random, uh, how can I explain? Maybe a random value or something like that. Or like a random pattern, which to us seems sort of like a natural generation, and this is how Minecraft generates the terrain. So, uh, to start off, if you're playing Minecraft, I'm pretty sure you know what a seed is, uh, but but in case you don't, it's basically just the numbers that define the features of each terrain. So, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of that, we're gonna copy it, and I'm gonna place it over here. This could, this could help us later when we're doing a bit of things that's with the player. Next, uh, we'll start by doing the Perlin noise calculation. So first of all, we're gonna say noise equals, and then Perlin underscore noise like this. And this seed and this sorry takes two arguments: the seed, just like that. And the octaves. Now, sorry, first of all, octaves. I think it's just octaves. Not really sure. We'll see. So, uh, we'll, I'm just gonna explain these later on, but for now, we'll just put two. And for the seed, I'll just input a random number. Now, uh, we were, for us, we're gonna do the calculations based on the amplitude and the frequency. So, Amp equals so the amp is basically how high can the mountains go. It's not how many blocks high, but it's basically how high you want it to go. So if you set it to three, you will have good mountains or hills, I guess. So uh, now the frequency we'll just set the frequency of the mountain or something like that. Probably set it to twelve. And it sometimes prevents bugs from happening where you have some gaps in the terrain. So now that we've got those defined, we need to go ahead and change the location of those because for now the x position of the cubes is set to the, uh, the, the this sort of calculations. So sorry, calculation terrain width times strain width and divided by terrain width. <laughs> A little confusing, but fine. So let me show you. If you run it now, we have nothing, and we also get an error. Terrain. Oh yeah, we need to take that. Uh, so these over here, uh, we can take that and put them down here again. There we go. 
Now, if you run it, okay. Berlin noise, okay. Uh, let's see. So, probably Berlin noise, like this, right? Uh, no. <laughs> Oh wait, yeah, maybe it's just Berlin noise. Sorry, I forgot the capital P. <laughs> yeah, it's so Berlin noise. Okay, so there we go. And sorry, this should be an integer, not a string. <laughs> and even that. Okay, so uh, now that we've got that, uh, we still don't have any terrain, and this is probably because we haven't implemented all of those into our position. So we can keep that. I divided by terrain width, and or actually no, uh, okay. So uh, I figured out right now that actually it's finally time to set cube dot y, and so the cube dot y is basically what deals with the mountains and stuff. So it makes sense like this. So if we're going to start by floor, just like that, and then we're going to say noise, like that, which is basically our function over here, which takes the octaves and the seeds, just like that. And now we're going to make a new list in here, and we're going to actually say, uh, now let me just for do, do the calculations, and then I'm going to actually explain everything. So q.x, what about c? And then q dot y so we go q dot c divided by and then we we'll multiply all of that by the amplitude. So what this basically does over here is it takes the cube dot x or the x of the cube and it divides it by the frequency. So how much the cube x can go up and down. And it will implement it on the Y section, which is it's kind of confusing to be honest, but I'm I'm trying to be as easy as possible right now. So uh you take the cube x and divide it by the frequency, and this is how much it's the line's gonna be raised on the x. Might seem a little bit confusing again, <laughs> but I'm trying to simplify things. Uh cube dot z does the same thing, and then it multiplies everything by the amplitude so that it knows how much it could go up and down. If you want the program now, hopefully, and there we go. We have the uh, we have actual terrain now. And if I go ahead and expand the platform a little bit. Now, don't expand the platform a lot because it will cause some lag. And there we go. As you can see, we got terrain implement. Now the mountains are not that high, and we can simply deal that deal with that by the amplitude. Now here, let's see if you put six. And run the program, hopefully I get an example of this. Uh, there we go, yeah. Uh, as you can see, we have some ter terrain gaps, which is not good. Now, I'm not saying we can fall in it or anything, but, I mean, not any game has this, so. What you probably want to do is you want to raise the frequency a little bit. This is good. Fix the problem, and yes, there we go. The problem is fixed. We have no turning gaps, and as you can see, the gaps lag out a little bit. Now, when it lags out, uh, the, the sort of colliders stop working a little bit. But there we go. We've got that terrain generated, and yeah. So, uh, just like Minecraft. Play with the seed, so you can just type a random seed and I'm just typing random numbers right now, and you'll get different terrain features just like Minecraft. As you can see, I got that over there, uh, I got, got that little hole over there, and yeah, so uh, this hole over here looks like a creeper sort of exploded it. And speaking about creepers, on uh, the next video, hopefully, we'll be implementing some mobs and things. Now we won't really be so programming the mobs to attack or follow or anything. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll make it so that it looks at us. Maybe and we'll make it so that it follows us. Maybe later on, not really sure. But 
There we go. We've got the terrain and we've got a bit of mountains right now. We've got a bit of randomization. If you want to call it. There we go. And before I end this video, I want to explain what the octaves are. So the octaves, uh, from what I can know, is basically how much the mountains generate or something. As you can see, I raised the octaves. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a lot of mountains and a lot of terrain gaps here. So don't raise the octaves a lot. We should probably do for the moment. Uh, let's see, do we get any errors or like just terrain gaps? Uh, yes, we do. <laughs> And uh, now I don't think raising the frequency will solve the problem. Let's see. Okay, it will solve the problem. So, if you want a bit more mountains, uh, basically you should raise the frequency. Now, don't raise the frequency a lot because if you do that, you're either I think you're gonna get like a bit of a boring terrain uh, or this flat terrain again. And when I say by boring, I mean look at this. So we got flat, and then we got going down. Just one block and then flat again <laughs> and goes on forever. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. So we're gonna take the frequency until it's like 24 maybe. We're gonna change the octaves back to two. And for the seed, uh <laughs> you know what we'll just start one fifty. Or okay, we go with that. So okay. So now we have terrain features and mountains. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a to leave a like in this video and subscribe. And I'll see you.